What's up, Gemini, sweetie pies? Welcome back to Pink Scorpion Intuitive Readings. It's your girl, Scorpion Queen, where I come to tell you the truth because the truth tells me. Gemini, I'm, I just did a divine feminine reading. So if you're a divine feminine or if you're a divine masculine, I've been doing more divine feminine and divine masculine readings on this channel. That's mainly what I'm going to be doing, divine feminine and DM and DF readings, okay? Check those readings out. Go over there and um, check those messages out for the divine feminine and divine, for the divine energies, period, okay? Um, it's some pretty good messages over there. Um after you click off of this one, it's, it's, I think it's either a divine masculine or a divine feminine reading that I did right before this. Um, also, Gemini, everyone, I'm feeling much better. Um, yesterday, one of my kitties, I lost one of my kitties. Um, I cried up in here like a big baby. I blamed myself. Um for my cat, you know, getting killed by a pit bull. Um, I, all, I'm still, I still picture it. And um, it's very hurtful. Um, his name was Thunder. And I called him, I named him Thunder because for one, he was gray. Two, he was a, I think you call him a feral, not a feral cat. Um, he may be feral. Um, I can't think of the name of him, but he was gray. <clears throat> um, I forgot the name of him, but he's a known cat. But the difference, what the difference is, his father is one that same cat, and I had two like him, but he was gray. But he looked it just like them. But his color was gray. And you don't see many cats. He he was like a spotted cheetah, but he was gray. And his name was Thunder. Thunder would act funny. Thunder, his father and his brother, the ones he looked like, they all didn't like people to touch them. And you go to touch them, they'll just arse their back so you can't touch them. But they loved you, you know, um... Thunder came in here and jumped his ass up on my bed and pissed on my bed because a new kitten was here, his baby brother, and he came and pissed. Any other time, he didn't want to be in my room, but he brought his ass up in here like telling his little brother, yeah, that's 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 my mom, and I'm going to piss on her bed and let you smell my piss. He did that shit, and I had to go and wash my blankets. Good, he was only, you know, he wasn't a big cat, so it only got on the, the top blanket. But it, the whole thing is that my little kitty got killed yesterday. And um, I don't know, yesterday while I was sitting here doing a reading, I, I swear I felt the, the I, spelled, I felt the spirit of his little paw came and, and touched my knee. Because when, when I would be eating something, and they know they know the difference of of human food and when I'm uh, pet food and when I'm eating. Like <clears throat> I feed them and I give them their food on the ground, right? And when I'm sitting here, if I'm sitting at my table and I'm eating, he would always come up to me and I feel his little paws, you know, right up on my heel, right on my leg. And I know it was him. The other cats wouldn't do it. Only he would do it in his brothers. It's something about that typical breed. All three of them do, did the same thing. But yeah, uh, my little Thunder got killed. I didn't mean to say that. Rest in peace to Thunder. Put it in the comments for me, Gemini. Um, you never got to see Thunder because Thunder is one of the cats that don't. He's, he's very finicky and he don't like people touching him. It's, neither does his father and neither does his big brother. They don't like nobody touching them. That's they just funny acting like that. 
So I never got to pick him up and show him to you on camera. Okay, and I do have a new baby. Um, and let me tell you this. I feel like it was it was a, a, a spirit, something to affect my pets, right? Last night, my little baby cat, now he's over there. He's asleep, okay? Now, this little baby cat, his name is Lightbulb. I'll show you to him um, in a few minutes. But he's a little uh, all white. Well, I thought he was all white when he was born, but he's actually, he's a flame tail. And uh, he looks he looks like his grandfather, who I took away, who was a Siamese cat. Um, he looks like him. Um, and his mama did mate with a Siamese because my friend around the corner, she has a Siamese cat, and one of my other cats looked just like. So she made it with with my friend's cat. That's my neighbor around the corner. She made it with him, with her cat, twice. And um, the little cat, I'm not even going to make this a read. I'm going to make this short and cut it off because I know y'all ain't going to want to hear this in the read. Um, I'll just title it something about my cat. But um, the little, the little bitty baby, hold on, let me go get him for you, hold on. Okay, this is light bulb. You see, I have the evil eye around him. This is light bulb. I call him little baby. Usually, little light bulb is pretty and fluffy. I'm gonna have to like show you a video of him when he's light and fluffy. I had to put put um. Uh, I had to put coconut oil on him because the fleas were attacking him and they were killing him. Um, they was His mother is an outdoors cat and when they nursed her, they contacted fleas from her. So they started attacking him all in his face. See his face? I got them. I, I got most of them. There's a few more that tried to come back, but they started laying eggs all on his face. Um, his brother and sister, they died. Um, and I've been struggling with this little kitty from day one. Um, because you know, after the, after the, uh, second litter, their mothers will abandon them. And that's what she did. They wasn't getting no nourishment from her um, her breast milk or anything. And I had to go and go in a, um, a pet store. I'm, I didn't, and, and the lady in there, she, you know, she helped me and told me a lot of things. And I've been giving him flea baths like damn near every other day he was covered with fleas um they were making him anemic he got skinny um he was about to die and I, i'm trying to get him out of his face they're they're not as bad now they're not as bad and and he gets a bath every every other day and this is my little baby light bulb and he's so pretty but his the, the hair on his face because of me having to to pick the fleas off. Um, I got a flea comb and everything. It has taken the, the fur off of his face. But once, you know, um, and they said the flea collars for the fleas, that's not good for him. So he don't have a flea collar on. <clears throat> every, every other day, I just take coconut oil and I put the coconut oil on him. And the fleas, they, they can't stay on it. They jump off, okay? And now, like, I would just take a Q-tip and I took them out of here. Hold 
Hold on, and I'll show you what I do. Hold on. Ten ten on the clock. Okay, see, so this is what I do. This is what I've been doing. I bought some coconut oil. It comes from the 99 cent store. And this is how hot it's been. That it melted. It it when I bought this, it looked like Crisco grease. You remember the old cans of Crisco that everybody you used to look, use the the uh the lard kind of grease. That's what this looked like, but it's been so hard, so hot that it just melted on its own. So what I've been doing is just taking a Q-tip. Come here, little baby. Come here. Just taking a Q-tip. He know what it is. And he, he, he's he been having to take baths since he was like two weeks old. So he's used to it. But they was all, you know, I, I, him being a kitten, I didn't really know how to bathe him. I didn't want water all in his face or I didn't want to drown him. Little baby. So I just, you know, take the, the, the Q-tip. Because, see, they, they still, and this, this is not toxic to the cats. Um... I, I I take it and him being a white kitten, when they when when the fleas attack him, you can see him. And they was attacking my baby and I was like, I can't I can't lose you too. Lost his his um his brother and his sister. It was three. They they the litter of them was three. His mom always have three in her litters. So this is her third litter. She always have three. So she has nine cats. I had nine cats. I gave a couple of them away. I have uh, six outside and three in the house and one just got killed yesterday. And I have a, um, I forget what they call them. My, my cat, she, everyone that sees them, they be like, wow. She had some beautiful cats. And I have an all black cat that she had. His name is Zazu. You you seen Zazu when he was uh my little baby. Um Gemini. I said Gemini, so I might as well keep it Gemini about my cats. And y'all my 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 regular subscribers anyway, but this right here. This is uh, Wonder Side Flea and Tick Spray. It's actually an oil. And I didn't know this. And it has lemongrass scent, right? I sprayed this, you know, I was saturating my cats with it. I didn't I didn't know it was oil. Until I sprayed and sprayed my cat in the bathroom and damn near slipped and broke my neck up in that motherfucker. Didn't know it had oil in it like that because I was I was always using a, a Q-tip. I mean, not a Q-tip, a cotton ball. And, you know, putting putting it right from here. You take the cotton ball, you spray a little on the cotton ball out and ran out of the cotton balls now um, because I've been really, like, taking care of this little booger right here. And this is why I started telling you, I know it, is, it was the energy trying to trying to spiritually attack my baby. I knew it. I seen it. I was going to sleep. And he always, he always uh, come in and, and either when I fall asleep or I be watching TV. And he'll come and lay at the foot of my bed, right? And he'll lay right there. And every morning when I wake up, he really came and curled right up under me or right by my head somewhere very close to me, right? And we went to sleep last night and he was laid on the bed. And I think a spirit was trying to choke him. All I know is I heard a struggle. And I woke up and he was flipping out. 
actually flipping. Like he couldn't breathe. Like something was flipping him around. Like he was having a seizure or something. And I jumped out of my bed and was like, hey, what's going on? I just started talking to him. And then he he just, um, I, I picked him, I grabbed him, and I just started stroking his back, trying to stimulate him, you know. And then I put him down, and he, he laid on the floor, and he was just, like, exhausted. Like, he, he, he was like something was attacking him and it was a spirit and I couldn't see it. And, and him being a kitten, it was like that motherfucking devil was throwing my cat. It was like he just was, I mean, like flipping like he was seizing or something. I never seen nothing like that. And I woke up and seen him. I heard him because he was at the bottom of my TV stand. And that's glass. And I heard something flipping and plopping on the glass. And I wake up and my cat is just, my baby is just flipping and throwing them, being like thrown around. And I grabbed it. If that ain't a demonic spirit to try to, that's been trying to attack him. And I immediately, my sage is over there. Look. I immediately grabbed my sage and started burning it and told that spirit to get the hell up out of here, to leave my cat alone. He's a baby. He's innocent. He has no power. You have no power. I just start telling it to get out. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, my, my animals are protected. You leave my animals alone. And it's the same fucking spirit that um, basically coached my, my cat to go over to the next door dog to get killed. So then I guess he was like, well, I got one. I'm going to try to, I'm going to kill the other one while she sleep. And these are demonic, demonic entities that, that come to do shit like this that people don't understand. You got to like pay attention. And, and I, I'm glad that I woke up and experienced and seen it because after I seen it, he always sleep in the bed with me. Um, I, I don't, I don't even know what he was doing down there because it's like he'll drink the water and I, I don't, he's a kitten, so he can't drink real fast. Not a lot. I was, I was bottle feeding him with the baby bottle. Okay. So him, him going down there, I got a little water thing for him but he really can't drink out of that he goes in in my living room and i have the the cute little cat water thing where the water comes out like a little bitty waterfall for him for him to just put his mouth out and stick his tongue in there instead of having to like reach down in the in the thing so he really don't you know go to that though i have one in here but he really don't you know drink out of it unless he's just real thirsty and he been in here and, and I've been gone. Then he'll go and drink out of it. Or if I'm just sitting in here with him a long time and don't let him out because he got his own little litter box in here and everything. But if he, if he, you know, I, I keep him in here with me. He got his own little water bowl. I didn't have two of them, but he'll go out and um, he'll drink the water from that one. When I open the door, his little ass dash out. He loved to drink from that water. And when he wants to go out, he'll go sit by the door and he'll, you know, meow for me to, to get him, okay, um, to open the door to let him out. Hey, little baby. Let me see your face. She's my little sweetheart. He is so sweet. He is so sweet. He is so sweet. And that's why I got so mad. When I seen that motherfucking demon throwing him, it, it had to be a demon. It, it 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 was like some cartoon shit, like something was just flipping him and flopping him. Oh, spirit just showed me what that was. Damn.
it was my other cat. The cat, that's what, that's how the pit bull was flipping and flopping my cat when I seen him had him in his mouth like a rag doll. This one experienced that. Maybe that was my cat's way of being angry with me because I let him out. He got out, he was able to get out. So, and end up over there. I don't know, it was just, that was just weird. I've never experienced nothing like that, but this is my baby. His eyes are open now, I'm seeing that his eyes are gray there. He's, he's becoming older. In the beginning, his eyes was all black. I never seen no white part, no gray part. But this is my baby, and his name is 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 uh light bulb. And you see, I put the I put the uh, coconut oil. So the fleas, they if they've laid eggs on him, that's where it goes. But see, the crazy part is his his ears, they're they're a a color, they're not white. So I was thinking that the fleas was biting him, and then a lot of it was the color he was getting a the brown color in his face. And see, when the fleas when they get full or they had little eggs, they would turn brown. Now you can see him since I put it on there. You can see him, and all I would do is take, I'll let it sit on there a little, like another 30 minutes, and then I'll take the, the, um, where is it? It's in the bathroom. I'll take the flea comb, and then, um, I'll just, you know, I get a towel, and I bundle him up. He can't move. All he can do is be wrapped in his, it just be his little head like that. It just be him little head, and then I take the flea comb, and I comb the fleas out. And he knows that I'm helping him. He knows it, you know. Um, it's my baby, and he is such a sweetheart. Yes, you are. Hmm. You're a sweetheart. I can't let nothing happen to him. He's a sweetie. It's like he's alone, even though he got two litters a, a brothers and sisters here. He uh, um he go in there and he cuddle up with them. And um I have to keep him in here because one of them has gotten the the cat eye infection. And I'm learning about all this. I can't afford to take my cats to a vet. I already got a dog that cost me damn near a hundred dollars just to take her to go get groomed and look cute when I'm ready. She costs a lot. And and I got too many cats, you know, so I have to do stuff on, learn off of YouTube and Google home remedies and stuff. And I just found out a little vinegar and water um, to help the cats um, when they have that eye infection shit. So I'm the cat lady and I'm learning how to deal with these cats. And um, yesterday was my, my, it's not my first time losing a cat because I've taken cats away and I've dropped them off, you know, in, in residential areas because all of my cats were beautiful. And where I dropped them off, people seen them. And one place I dropped my cats off and the, the kids across the street, when we was driving off, the kids, some kids, they was in an apartment. I knew what I was doing, right by an apartment in some school. And I put them in the cage and sat them there. So people know, for one, that they not no wild cats. I left the collars on them and everything. So somebody in them apartments seen me set the cats out. The little thing had water. I put the little water thing and a little bit of food. The shelter wasn't, they would they would have killed him. So I sat my cats there. It was a, a mother and two of her kittens. They were all black too. That was my first 
two little black kittens that I had. And um, when when we was driving up, we had to go up the hill. My son was like, look, mama, look. And people was running across the street to get the kittens, to get them. So they didn't, they didn't, um, nothing happened to them. A family took them in right then and there. And um, that's what I'm, I'm I got to get some cages and, and I'm going to maybe see if I can put my cats up for, for adoption, adopt them out some kind of way because they all are house cats. And um, I have, let's see, I have outside, I have Zazu and the, they're all under a year old but they big now they look they look like they old but they they're still kittens <laughs> and they my babies and it's like i said i wasn't gonna have have all of these cats it 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 just the mother she had three litters and they're her kittens and then you know people i've given them to they say they can I have a kitten, and I I tell them the kitten, but it's stipulations with the kitten. If you take the kitten, you gotta promise to love it and take care of it and this and that. You know, um, if you can't do it, bring it back. And that's what they do. They they couldn't. Some of them didn't understand cats, and they end up bringing them back. And this is how I still have them. Okay. So it's like now I gotta move. Um, before the thirty first, I gotta be out of here. Um, I'm just waiting to be able to get my stuff. I was at risk of losing my my um <clears throat> my stuff that was in storage, Gemini. Um. Then it's like, where am I going to put my cats? I asked for donations. I didn't get no donations. I was asking people to help me to be able to purchase um, some cages so I could at least put them online and, and have somebody to really adopt them, but put them in a cage and be able to show them off to people. I mean, I got a bunch of pictures of them, but I want them, to, um, I was asking people to donate some cages to me. So when the people come pick them up, if somebody wants to adopt them, then they'll be in a cage and they're not running everywhere all over the house. They can, you know, I, they can just look at them and, and take them. I can let them out and interact with them just like they do at PetSmart. So, um, yeah, so I'm, um, yeah. And if you would like to donate to me to help me, uh, purchase some cages, even if I have to, <clears throat> even if I have to go to a thrift store and buy some, some thrifty ones, some cages and all the thrift stores. I know I, I, I love thrift store shopping. But I need to go and um, find some because I have to be out of my house, out of my father's house um, before the 31st of this month. And um, that's August 31st. So I was originally at court a couple of days ago. Um, my brother... Um, him being the administrator of my father's estate has put the house up for sale and someone <clears throat> has put the incident someone has put 15% um, down to purchase the home so I gotta move I gotta be out of here so um, if you guys wanna uh, donate to my channel to help me put to be able to get my cats to put them in a put them all in a cage so I can take pictures of them 
and put them online and people can come um, adopt them. I have um, one, two, I have, I don't know, I have four outside. Okay, they were my house cats. And I still say they house cats because they don't go off of my property. They stay right in my yard. Um, they go up on top of my house. Um, <clears throat> in my backyard, on the side of my house. Um, and in my neighbor's yard. That's how one of the little ones got killed because the big ones know the area of the dog not to go to and this one thunder he didn't and he jumped right over there in the neighbor's yard and the dog got him my other cats that's outside they know that black ass dog and not to go over there fuck it but they're also indoors cats i just had to put them out because they got territorial and the boys started squirting spraying and then the mama <clears throat> she i couldn't with during the covid all of the this is they she got pregnant with these litters during covid all of these cats are under three years old they're kittens okay um no they're not fixed but if you would love, if you want to adopt them, they're very. All of my cats are very loving, very affectionate. Um, I want to take them with me, and if if I, you know, after I get whatever I'm gonna get from the sale of my father's house, and if I purchase me my property, I want to have a room just for my cats. Okay. Um, and build a tree and y'all know I'm creative and I make shit. I want to make a room just for my cats and have a tree in there. I want to paint a tree on the wall. I want to make it look like a real little like some shit you'll see on TV. I want to have nets and shit in there where they can hang from. And, you know, that's if I'm blessed to be able to have four bedrooms. Like if I could have a four bedroom house, then one of my rooms would be for my cats, okay? And it, um, I may just make it, make it my room with my cats where I do my readings in there because they all, they love being around the crystals and all of that. Wait a minute. Making sure. Ain't nothing burning. I see this incense that went out, but I still smell smoke. And I'm making sure I wasn't burning my laptop. Make sure ain't nothing. I had that incense and I was making sure it started making me cough so I, I thought I put it out but I still was smelling the smoke you know it should be burning and you won't even know it yeah so um, I guess collective Gemini or whoever I title this message to about my kitty cats um yeah if 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 you would like to donate to my channel to help me um I will be I'm expecting you know I got to move and um y'all know if 
with my with my stuff in storage and all of that I have to the 26th of this month to have the money for my storage. I'm not worried about that because I know my brother owe me something when it comes to this house. But what I need now is before I move somebody to help me get me some cages to put my cats in so I can take pictures of them. I don't have to take pictures, but you know, be able to put them in pens put them in some cages for when I leave is people because it's already people who you know it was this one little girl she would walk past my house and my my mama cat she's the mother cat and she's fucking beautiful my two female cats are pretty beautiful beautiful they're both calicoats okay and they're rare and um it's like um if you you have a cat <laughs> I don't I don't know with my cats I have two calico the mama she's she's orange black and white right and her face is white but her body is like a shell, a tortoise shell of orange, black, and white, and she's all white right here. The rest of her is orange, black, and white. She's beautiful, right? And she had uh, a daughter, a girl, well, a female, Duchess. Duchess is calico, too. She's beautiful, too. She's mostly white, but she got bigger patches of orange and black. Beautiful. And I have Zazu, who's all black. He's just like a panther. And he is so fucking adorable. He got put out because he got very, um, what's the word? Um, he, I can't even think of the word. He loved me too much. I can't think of the word right now because I hit that block. Um, he got aggressive over me. Again, when they start, you know, like he started uh, marking me. And that's why I end up, you know, having to put them outside because they become territorial. And they all started like peeing on my bed, pissing on my pillows and all of that shit because that's where I sleep. I had to put them out. It was like I was going to Walmart every two weeks to go buy another new pillow. I can wash my blankets and shit, but I had to keep going to buy pillows because they know that's where I lay my head and I sleep. And then I was letting them lay in the bed with me, but then when they got to the to the age of where they start being territorial, that's when I had to put them out. And see the ones that's outside, they're house cats, but they don't they don't go outside the yard. And if any of them that of my cats that have gotten killed, it was uh, I had a couple more kittens that one of my cats had, and he was the father, and he brought his he brought his baby mama home. That shit was so fucking crazy, real fucking shit. I had a white Siamese cat. I took him away. He was bringing drama here for real. That cat brought his baby mama here. I'm gonna do a reading about that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a reading about that. Because somebody's parents could be going through that. That cat brought his baby, his kitten's mama to my house and planted her on the side of my house. Right? He hid her and he brought his two sons out and put them in, in my front yard. And I went outside. He put him out there for me to see him. He brought him to me. To me. And I fed him. Right? And so they they got attached to me. That was so fucking crazy. Like, he really brought 
his baby mama to my house for me to take care of her and his babies. He did the fatherly role. He's a real father. He was like, well, I'm going to take you to my mama. She going she gonna, to she gonna feed me. And when she see them and they look like me, she going to feed them too. And they was all white and they was beautiful little kids. And they weren't, they weren't newborn. Mm -mm. They weren't no newborn. No. They was like, they had to be about, about the size of my little baby is right now. About two months. Right. And, um. And, and and put them there and stood there with them like, yeah, these mom. You going to feed me, you going to feed them. That's how it was, real shit. You know, and I love I love cats. And they're magical, they're special. They chase ghosts away, all of that. And the cats that I have, I have three that I call magical. That's my calico and my black cat. My black cat, just like this little baby was being attached by a demon. Yes, they will attach you. They will attack because my black Zazu, um, he was being attacked to where he he wouldn't he wouldn't put his feet on the floor. He was scared to get on the floor for some reason. When when I put him down, he never liked to be on the floor. When I feed him, he had jump down and grab a mouthful of food and jump back on the couch jump down and grab a mouth of food and jump on the table or he was hopping around the house and I call him Zazu okay and didn't know that Zazu was the bird on on um, Lion King I thought Zazu was a goddamn black ass monkey that monkey man that's what I thought Zazu was um but they was like no Zazu is the bird so his name fits him. He wasn't, he wasn't walking around. He was hopping around like he could fucking fly. And a spirit was attacking him. And I had to burn some sage. My cat started getting sick. He wouldn't come in my room. It was a spirit because, see, when you read these cards and shit, now I've learned how to, to you, you in, inviting these spirits in and you didn't know, I didn't know what I was doing. But now I know. And I know how to run their motherfucking asses right up out of here, too. I know how to fight them in the spiritual realm. And see, they'll, they'll uh, get you most if you, like, when you run out of your, your shit. That's of your protection. That's why you must stay stocked. And I, I got to stock up myself with the candles. Keep you incense and candles. Keep you a stock of sage. If nothing else, keep those three things. To protect your energy. Okay. When you're on a spiritual journey. I'm saying this. And I haven't did it my damn self. Well I was doing it. But I gave all of my stuff away. I was giving it away online. Um, I never sold it. People would write me. And I was I would give people. You know. Um, gifts. Of spiritual, spiritual items. I always have. So. Because um, I like it. I like how it makes me feel, and I want everybody else to feel that feeling too, okay? And I didn't mean to say that. Um, I guess I'll make this a, I guess a, I'll just put all signs on here, but I've been calling Gemini because y'all, I just did two videos for y'all. But yeah, um, I just wanted to talk about what happened with my cat. I'm just kind of being a little about my cat getting killed yesterday he was like a child um and i would fuss at him because he didn't want nobody to touch him he just when you try to touch him he'll arch his back so i said okay i'm about to start ignoring your little ass i'm not gonna even try to play with you i'm not gonna try to pick you up or nothing and then when i ignore him and he see me playing with his brother i had tofu Tofu is a, a beautiful cat. He's he looks Siamese, but he's not a full Siamese. His daddy is Siamese, and his mama is is uh, calico. Um, I gotta find a breed, but she's there. She everybody's like your cats are your. She makes some beautiful babies, and she do. 
She makes beautiful. The cats out of my yard are so pretty. And and it's a little girl. I guess the little girl done moved or something. But she would come by here. She's probably older now. She would come by here and she'll see mama, the mama cat. And she's Calico. And she'll see her. And, um, okay. She'll see her. And then she'll, uh, she'll, 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 she'll go by the pizza place. And she'll come by my house. And she'll try to get my cat some pizza. She would get a cat pizza and my cat would eat it, right? And she'll, you know, she thought that her feeding her the pizza was going to, you know, she can feed her some pizza and walk off with her. She quickly learned that trying to steal somebody's cat is not going to go good. She, and I told you, my cats don't, they don't go outside of my yard. They won't, they'll go, the farthest they'll go is to my neighbor's next door. Other than that, they not. Because it's dogs every all over here. And in each house, it's a dog on both sides. So they know. Um, what was I saying? Um, she, yeah, she, she only goes so far. And the little girl came up and she thought that she was going to walk off with my cat feeding her pizza. She quickly found out. I just, she didn't see me sitting there and looking at her out my window. I ain't have to say nothing because I know Pebbles wasn't going to let her take her nowhere. A lot of people be like, oh, and my neighbor was like, you better watch her because my mama, my mama will take her. She will put her in the car. I said, no, she ain't. I said, it'd be like a horror movie in there. I said, your mama try to drive off with my cat in the car. Let me tell you what happened with her when I put her in the car with me. I didn't put her in. She got in my truck by mistake. I didn't know. Because what she do, sometimes I go and buy me some fast food and I just pull up in my driveway and I sit there and I eat it, right? And my cat, her, she's so nosy, and she can smell the food. She'll come, and then my window is down. She'll come and creep through my driver's side window. And um, she'll sit in the car or the truck. This time, she was I was sitting in my truck, and she uh, <laughs> she went and she got in there, and I forgot she was in there. And then I thought about something I needed to get from the store. And um, I probably been sitting in my truck like 30 minutes. And then I said, oh, I need to get whoop de whoop from the store. So I just started my truck up to go. And I backed out the driveway. And then um, I, I got probably like four houses down from almost to the corner. All of a sudden, I seen or heard her. I, I heard a bunch of noise in the back. <laughs> she went all the way in the back of my truck. It's a three-seater. And she went all the way in the back. And um, <laughs> I just heard her <laughs> rumbling around back there. And I looked through my, my rear view mirror. And she was trying to scramble over that seat. And I had to hit my brakes. And I was like, Pebbles, what is so she was she was in such a frenzy. I couldn't try to back up and take her back. I had I, it was no me going around the corner um to bring her back home. It was none of that. She ain't never been out. My cats ain't never been outside. So she acted a fucking fool up in there. Okay? And if I had a went with she wouldn't have attacked me. It wasn't that she would attack me. It was the the fact that she was in some moving shit she ain't never felt before in this take. It's like 
she was in a spaceship and she tried to get the fuck up out of there. So all I could do was roll my 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 back window down because my three seater it don't have no back windows it just opens up. She can't get through there. So I had to. I just stopped in the middle of the street and I I rolled the back windows down and she hopped her ass out and she ran the wrong way in a frenzy and she ran across the street and then she was sitting there and then I stopped and I had to get out of my car because I'm still on my block to coach her to let her see me to run back this direction so when she seen me she ran and she ran back she flew past me and and that was so funny it was like uh if you ever played the game Spyro, <laughs> if you ever played the game Spyro the Dragon, and how Spyro looked when he running, that's how my cat was looking, just like Spyro running her ass down the street. Hey, baby. He looked just like Spyro running her ass down the street. And um, <laughs> that shit was funny. I'm sorry, uh... Uh, gentleman I collective that I, I talk too much about my cats. I love my cats. I could sit all day. I got a TikTok about my cats where they, I just, you can check my TikTok out too. It's called uh, uh, Queen's Ice Cream Ice Queen's Ice Queen's Cream Shack. And I talk about, it was, it's about my ice cream business that I had going. Um, it's a lot of little things on there. Uh, things I created, things I made, it's on there. Um, you can go check that that TikTok out, and you'll see my cats where I didn't I talk for them and shit. And it's just funny if you're feeling down, just go check that video out and check my my TikTok out. Um, I do have two TikToks. I have one for this channel, but I really don't do much on it. Um, and I have one for my ice cream shack okay i got one for pink scorpion intuitive readings on tiktok but i ain't really been active on it and i got a tiktok for my ice cream shack you can check both of them out okay so little baby little baby i see a flea on you so tell everybody bye bye little baby Tell everybody bye-bye. Tell them bye. Say, don't be holding me. You hear my son. I'm trying to get down. All right, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Peace out.